Oh, hi guys. So I am making my last errand run before I get picked up in the car uh, by my cohort for our trip to Disney World. Yay! I'm very excited. Um, but I realized I needed to go pick up a little bit of cash, loose cash, because most of my money right now is in Disney gift cards. Because once we land there, uh, it's going to be no problem. I'm going to, you know, throw stuff on my room. Speaking of which, I've got to put my magic band on. I'm very excited. Um, so, yeah, so we're just going to hit the gas station and hit the ATM and pick up the stuff. I've got my annual pass. I've got my tables in Wonderland. I've got all my gift cards. I went to Costco and this is this is a little fun fact for you guys. Sorry, very slow cars in front of me. Well, actually it's a truck, but it's very slow. Um, for those of you who uh, do have memberships to BJ's or Costco, or if you have a Target red card, one of the best things that you can do is to buy, if they have them, your gift cards from those locations. For me, I go to BJ's, that's nearby me. And the cool thing about BJ's is that um, if I buy a $100 gift card where the amount is pre-printed, $100 gift card, I only pay $96. Like I save four bucks off of it. Uh, if you buy a $25 gift card, you only save 50 cents. Uh, and if you buy, buy a $500 gift card, I think you save like very close to 25 bucks off of it maybe a little less than that. But generally, you know, if you can do a 100 or a 500, you know you're gonna be spending that money there anyway. You put it into the card, you hold the card, and then you can actually pay off your hotel bill uh, the night before the end night. You know, just keep charging stuff, blink, blink, you know, onto your magic band, and then go and physically pay it. Um, and then it's basically, you've prepaid for, your, for everything in your trip. Uh, you know, if you do like the dining plan on top of that, that's even better, but do remember, even with the dining plan, that your tips uh, are not included. If you're doing a sit-down restaurant, like I do a lot of sit-downs, you need to make sure that you account for those tips. And you can put them on a Disney gift card, or you can charge the tip to your room, which is one of the things I did. And then you know, any, any additional drinks, any specialty featured items that are above what they cover in the meal. Uh, and then, you know, you can do pretty well for yourself that way. It's a whole lot of fun. Um, so in a moment, I'm going to actually, this, this truck is so slow. Oh dear God. I have just, it took me that long, all that talking, um, to go the distance that normally takes me about 20 seconds. Yeah. Great. It's all right. It's just about six o'clock. Our flight tonight is at nine o'clock. So things we're doing on this trip. So I'm traveling again with someone new. This is something very different for me. We were going to originally go. I'm going to see if I can lift that up a little bit. We were originally going to go and stay off property. Well, okay. So I talked to some friends about going. They ended up uh, not being able to come after all. But I said, you know what? After all this, I'm making it happen. So I went in. I found a regular hotel room. I was going to use some of my Hilton Honors points to keep the hotel really, really inexpensive. I had some credits left on Southwest from prior Disney flights that, uh, I, you know, you keep your eye on the price and when the price goes down, uh, you get that money back as a credit. And if you get, you know, you can apply, it's either two or three credits that you find onto your next flight. So I already applied credits from this, my December flight for, onto this trip. And I already have another $37 I was able to break down on that, that flight. So when all comes said and done, for the flight I'm going in for December, I'm really going to only end up paying about uh, 340 I think, or 350 for the whole round trip flight. Fabulous price for Christmas time. You just have to really be on it and look at the emails when they say there's a sale coming and all that kind of fun stuff. So this trip, so I, I ended up last minute inviting a friend uh, because everyone else I was going to go with canceled. So I'm like, you know what? I'll go by myself. I plotted out the things I wanted to do for myself and then said, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to get me in the picture here. And then uh, a little what the hell moment happened. I tried calling this one friend. I changed my mind, hung up, said, no, she definitely won't be able to do it. She called me back, said, what are you doing? I explained. She went, let me see what I can do. And lo and behold, we are going. So tomorrow... So our flight's at 9 o'clock, 9.10. We land at 12.20. And then it's going to be a magical express because we changed it to stay on property. Because at one point, 
one person was going to try to join us and I only had a king size bed with the other reservation. So we were like, we need at least two beds and then things got turned around, but it's, yeah, so it's been kind of convoluted and switchy and changey and that's okay. And I'm parking and we're in. All right. I'm going to stop the car, run inside, get everything I need and we'll be right back out in just a moment. Bye. I'm not taking this out of my hand because it doesn't go back in my purse. My purse is gonna stay here. I have a different travel purse that's gonna have my cameras. I'm also trying something a little different now because I'm not sure. I had the video camera originally, more traditional video camera, and was using that and discovered uh, that it died. So right before the trip, the last trip I took in June, I got a more traditional vlogging camera and I took that around. I can't say that I was absolutely thrilled with it. It was okay, but it wasn't like, so be all grand. So I brought both because they're both relatively small because the one that died, instead of fixing it, they just totally replaced it because that's what they do. Um, that being said though, that means now I have two perfectly good cameras to allow me to do all this stuff. So I am, I'm bringing the little Joby. I'm not bringing the large one. As much as uh, the large one probably would give better angles, it was big awkward, and I'm not doing a backpack myself this time. I am gonna look at like those, uh, uh, not Do Dooney and Burke, but the little mini backpacks that I see all these women carrying now, they look so cute and trendy. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. But uh, I'm gonna see how much those actually hold, if the cost value was worth it to me, and I might pick one up. Um, and if I do, then that will eventually become what I use for the next trip. I'm probably not going to do a whole lot of souvenir shopping this trip. I want to see what's different for food and wine. This is my first time at food and wine, guys, ever. The only festival I have ever been at has always been the Christmas one. Because I have done 12 Christmases in a row. And then prior to that, they really weren't doing food and wine. I've been in a February. I was there in a June. Like when I went this June, food, uh, a flower and garden had just ended. And when I go back this next June, uh, right before my annual pass expires, I'll probably get a day or two there. And again, it's expired, which sucks. Yeah, so we're heading back to the house. I'm doing this on my cell phone right now. So I can't, you know, as we talked video footage, etc. this is not going to cut it. Um, <coughs> excuse me. It will not be until we, uh, until she actually picks me up and we start loading up and moving on, then I'll be able to really see how all of this goes. But uh, I'm excited, guys. This was such a last minute fluke. Uh, you know, a couple friends had originally planned to do a trip now. They pushed it back to January. I'm not sure I can go in January. Then uh, someone saw the food and wine thing posted, man, I need to go do this. And I'm like, let's make it happen. And, and she couldn't, and she's still, she's still really sad she can't. And hopefully I'll be able to go with her at some point. Uh, but so that didn't happen. And then, then it was going to be me alone. And now it's me with someone. And while, you know, I would love to have upgraded or gone into a fancier place. We're doing preferred at all-star sports, but when it was just her and I, and, and money was definitely an option, you know, a concern, I should say, um, you know, we did want to just kind of keep it inexpensive and because we could go preferred, at least I'm getting close to the main building. And from what I can tell, there's only one bus stop at each place. I don't know. I don't know how long it's going to take us to get to our room. I don't know any of this stuff. So this is big learning curve for Michelle. Um, haven't, yeah, haven't done this style before. The only places on property I've stayed in my childhood at Polynesian because that was the cheap place back then. Yes, one time it was when it was just the contemporary and the Polynesian. Um, I was seven, <laughs> count backwards. Then the next time was uh, uh, Coronado Springs when I had some annual meetings there. No, Oh no, the next time was actually not on property at all. It was a high school trip. And then I did Coronado Springs for a meeting and did that twice. And then since then I have been in Port Orleans Riverside twice and I'm now doing all-star sports and then I'm gonna in December I'm gonna be doing two days at pop century and one night at all-star sports so this is actually my better chance to see what all sports star sports is about um yeah we're really excited there is much there was much rejoicing yay but it is 10 after 6 now I am getting back we're about to hit through the bumps again so I pre-apologize for this 
And I will have to apologize once more because there's one more set. But that being said, uh, I'm going to pack you up for the moment and then we're going to get ourselves together and get on the ride. Guys, this is going so much fun! Uh, yeah, we're not going to sleep much. I'm probably going to break this into multiple videos, not just the two days, probably multiples within because, yeah, and I may be drinking some. It's okay. So home to the kitties, time to take care of them, time to make some magic happen, and probably the next time I see you, maybe, it's going to be in the airport. Yay. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hi, guys. So, um... We're getting ready for the trip. I have my bags packed. I have the magic band for my traveling companion. I am wearing my magic band because you want to get those when you get on the Magical Express. That's how they tag you in. So you don't have to bring the paperwork. Um, she is on her way. Uh, you will meet her. Her name is Sasha. We are very excited and I'm getting a shadow on my face. There we go. Now I don't have a shadow on my face. Um, so yes, we are very excited. There's going to be lots of fun. Um, this is only the beginning because there ain't going to be much sleep, uh, but, uh, we're going to have a good time. Um, I, I believe next will be the airport. I don't know because I thought the next time would be the airport the last time, but now I'm thinking actually the next time is to going to see her come in so I can gift her with her magic band because, because that would be nice. Yes. Hi everybody. This is the traveling companion. She has brought me food for my return trip. Wait, wait. Mm. Voila. Yeah. Wow. Um, do I have to go to Disney? Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, yes I do. do. All right. And on top of that, you, your first piece of jewelry. Oh, yay. Hold on. Hold she on. likes me. She really likes me. I do. The best part is read the inside. Oh. Let's see. It says, Sasha! We got your name on there. It's got my name on it. I thought that would make you happy. That is adorable. And now we're ready to go on a trip. We're ready. Woohoo! Woohoo! Here we go! <laughs> Disney, you have no idea what's coming. <laughs> Volvo. This is our first part of our celebration. Uh, we're in BWI and we are going to get the Celebration Sparkler, that second set down there. It's time to drink. It is. It's time to drink and celebrate. I'm going to actually get dinner because I haven't had dinner yet. Um, and, and we're trying to figure out the gluten-free versus non-gluten-free, which is mildly confusing, but we're going to make it work because, dagnabbit, we want to make it work. Um, so we're going to look at the menu and once we get our wines and everything else, we will come back and say hi. Hi. Ooh. Ah. So I'll give you a second or two. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're going to read what we've got now. Can you read that, guys? I'm going to read. No, I'm good. See, these are the three. I'm just here for the drinking portion. There we go. Okay, so <laughs> we figured out what I'm eating. Woohoo. I'm still um, drinking. She's still drinking. Drinking. I'm joining her. It is a vacation, guys. A very quick insanely fast what was i thinking vacation yes 48 hours of drinking at disney 
and other things. And other things. We're gonna get on rides. We're gonna eat. We're gonna. We're gonna do all the. You're things. gonna have gluten free churros. That will happen. Gluten free churros. Oh my god, they're so good. Can't wait. Cannot wait. I will convert her into my gluten free churro. So for those of you who follow my normal craziness. <laughs> The legendary. The infamous spreadsheet for this trip, as you can see, two days of crazy, two days of not much. Um, so yeah, it's not the too horrific. The legendary spreadsheet. In, in, it, but it I see it. and changes. What do the color coding correspond to? Okay, so pink on this one is Hollywood Studios. Green is Animal oh, Kingdom. Oh, okay. Blue is Epcot. Purple is Magic Kingdom. Orange is Disney Springs. And white is either your hotel or somewhere else off property. I knew it meant something. See, I did that I didn't there. Know what it was. See, I even color coded on the side. You These did. are the hours that each park is open each day. So okay. if we do want to change our minds or do something, we know what our layout okay. is. Okay. Where we have tentatively we planned still food. Working on the food and it's when. Yeah. Okay. And and, and so much fun. We so always have the option. Yes. Yeah. Well, the Disney Springs is like bars and nightclubs and stuff. That's where we're doing the afternoon lunch, and we could hit them on one of the nights as well. Yeah, in the evenings, or if we decide we haven't had enough Disney, we could throw down the money and do the the, 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 the Halloween party thing. If so. it doesn't sell out. Yeah. But that's going to be where you were... All right. And I'm... We're going to talk logistics. We'll be back. Okay, so what she has just told me is she has never been to Disney Springs. She hasn't been there since it was downtown Disney, Kelsey Priest, and um, she hasn't been to Hollywood Studios, which means she also hasn't been to Animal Kingdom. I have not. So much fun. So much new stuff. Oh my God, so much fun. <laughs> Half um, the fun of doing stuff is when you're taking somebody and they haven't been, so. But we both, we both get to do Star Wars. Yes, that's so. new for me. There are a few things that are new for me on this trip, so things that are new for me. Go flirt with the Stormtrooper. Always vote for the bad guys. I was told you if you call them Buckethead, they start to yell at you and chase you. Okay, Just giving better. you a heads up, that's your choice. Okay, I'm just well, putting I that out there. Okay, well I will the shoes, I'm ready for it. There you go. Right. I'll Buckethead. film it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the things, uh, Epcot, Epcot Forever is the new fireworks show. They used to do Illuminations Forever and Ever and Ever. Yeah. And now Epcot Forever is going to be taking its place. Okay. Uh, and it's only for like a year, and then they've got another show coming in, so this is your chance to see that okay, one before cool. it goes away. Um, the whole Star Wars stuff. Yeah. Um, not a whole lot new. Th oh, an Animation Academy at Animal Kingdom is totally okay. new. That's when we get to draw an animal character. Oh, well, I'm terrible at drawing. I know, but they teach you. They show you stay. Make okay. this circle here, make this, that there. It's so cool. Fun. And Fun. then 7.30. All right. And 8.40, so we have an hour. So that would be me. Look at that. Oh, how pretty. Okay. Get a picture. Get that. Oh. Yeah. I can get video. That is beautiful. Yeah, that's lovely. There, you got it. The adventure begins. Hi, guys. So we are on the last of the three. Uh, we have had, I'm sorry, wait, hold on. We had, um, I had a chocolate had flourless cake with caramel. <laughs> they tried taking the plate away when I finished the main cake part. I would not let them because there was more chocolate. It was lickable. It, I, I didn't. I'm trying to be behaving myself. Shh. Not going to, not going to. Um, we are on the last of the beverages, which is a champagne. Uh, what did we have? So the first one was a Brut Rosé. Yeah, I know, pink. Leave me alone. It's delicious. The second is a Brut Champagne uh, Chardonnay, more on the bright. The first was rich, the second was bright, and this last one is a rich again. The uh, flavors are yellow apple and graphite. I should have drunk them backwards. If I'd known I was doing the chocolate, I would have saved the pink for the end because it would have been perfect. But this is still lovely. She has none left. Um, so yes, yeah, so we finished. We paid our bill. We had lovely service here. This is Vino Volo in BWI Airport. We actually have to go back to the B terminal, but we came here because we like this food a lot more. That's right. And it's it's classy with happy music in the background, which I have to continue to talk over because hey, copyright issues. And um, I think we're about there. We're gonna head over to the other side to Southwest, put on our silly face masks so I don't get sick on the plane, get her in so that she doesn't have to stand and wait in the long line, and then we're going to the next. I'm gonna live dangerously. I'm Do it. I may not wear my face mask. Wonder Twin Powers, activate. <laughs> Shape of um, a mouse head. Um, all right, guys. We now Disney, eighty dollars each. Eighty dollars for touching that. Yes. Did they multiply? <laughs> oh no. This is fun but expensive. That is true. We'll See you on the flip we'll side, guys. And go. One can only hope. Hi, guys. So we are now in BWI, sitting right next to the Mexican place that's in B Terminal. 
Let's start where we get our pretty wonderful by group A, B, and C in our order. After group A, B, 4, B will be our A list preferred, followed by extra time or XD on the boarding pass, along with family boarding. Family boarding is two adults with kids, age of six and under. Please keep in mind, if you're pre-boarding or under the age of 15, you're not allowed to sit in the exit row seats. And you're only allowed one carry-on, one personal item. Once again, I timed this poorly, didn't I? One personal item. I really did. I timed this poorly. I need to look at you rather than up there, which is what I tend to do, because I keep forgetting that you're the actual bag to Orlando so, or your final destination hi. free of charge. Hi. Once again, 7.55, headed to Orlando here at B4, boarding at 8.40. Thank you. We still have like 20 something minutes. It's only like 8.17. So I don't know if you noticed on my band. Let me see if I can show you. That is my annual pass band. Because that's my, I didn't find, I found this out recently is when you become an annual pass holder, you can actually get a specialty band. Who knew? Obviously not me. So I picked this one up. Yes, I know it's pink. I already had the green at home. I ordered a blue one for this trip. And then for my trip coming up at the end of the year, I think I'm getting gray and yellow because I'm staying on property twice. And for each hotel you switch to, you get another band. I know, crazy. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have like almost all the colors. I don't have red because I don't wear a ton of red, you know, unless I'm in costume at festival and that wouldn't make a whole lot of sense here. They would not want me in those costumes here. No, it's not very Disney. So, um, I'm just hanging out with the bags, and I see Miss Sasha is returning with bottles of water. Woo! It's a big bottle of water. Big bottle. Yeah, and uh, we are just chilling now. They made lots and lots and lots of announcements while you were gone. Did they? Yeah, every time I tried talking, they started announcing something again. They're good like that. I think they, they do that on They do. They do, so I just started waiting and made faces in the camera. That's what you do. Sometimes. Yeah, exactly. It is what you have to do. <laughs> so, um, what are you most excited about for this trip? Yes. Everything. Everything. Okay, pretty much everything. I just, I got a sense of adventure. I just like to get up and go and go do. It doesn't matter what we do. Just, we're gonna have a blast doing it. Yes, we are. And and what was your reaction when I said, oh yeah, we're getting to our room probably a little after midnight. Oh, and we have to be at the bus station at 5:30 in the morning to be there for Galaxy's Edge. Okay. Well, then I guess we better hurry up and sleep. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do on the plane. We are sleeping on the plane. I just okay. smile and nod anymore. Okay, yes ma'am. Yeah. There you go. So I'm gonna put my silly mask on. Do you want me to draw a mustache on it? No. Are you sure? Yes. No. Because like the no, I would do that for you. These are the more medicinally ones than the ones I normally get, so they smell a little funny. But they will keep me from getting... breathed in on everybody. It's pointless at this point. No, it's the recycled air on the plane. Yeah. For those of you who are wondering what the hell I'm doing and why. So, I fall asleep on planes, which is what we'll be doing when we get there. I am notorious for falling asleep on a plane like this. <laughs> and licking the window? Uh, no, no, luckily not that. But with my mouth hanging open, I dry up, and anything that's flying around in the air ends up in my lungs, and then I get sick. So I like to wear this. Often I'll do it from when I get into the airport immediately, like even before going through security. Um, but I will wear this until I can wash my hands when I get off the plane, and then I will be fine. I use the bathroom at CBGB's and sit on the toilet seat. I fear nothing anymore. <laughs> Story. Yeah, I, be I believe you. And I, have I think if that didn't kill me, nothing will. So I'm gonna find the magic hand sanitizer, which is the next fun trip, and we'll see you shortly. Bye.
South of Carolina, and this Orlando Base flight crew, welcome to uh, our home base, Orlando, Florida. For your safety and all the people on Earth, please stay seated, buckled up, seat back, and you're able to stay up and locked, and leave your bags properly stowed until we get to the gate and the seatbelt sign goes off. Hi, guys. Guess where we are? We're in Orlando. Yay! Whoa! I'm sorry. Is that again? <laughs> Hi. Thank you, good. As I went, blah, right in your face. Um, so yeah, we are waiting for the monorail. We have landed. We have to go to the B terminal, go all the way to the bottom and get the Magical Express. We've already gotten the text with our room. We will still go by there so that we can put on there her credit card to go to her charges so we can each charge separately to the room. And we're ready to have some fun. And it's raining because Florida. Um, but we're going to get my favorite view if they let us. Right. It's the first monorail ride. <laughs> <laughs> This is the All Star Sports. It has a sports theme. La 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 sports theme. Which is wildly ironic given how much I love sports. We're having fun. Um, out, do, 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 do. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> She's my sister, so God. We're here. Yay! Sorry, you can't see. Yay! Welcome to the All Star Sports. We are here. Yay! Now this is actually not bad. It's doubles instead of queens, but that's no big deal. Perfect. You know what? How much room do we need? I know. For the two of us, it's not a big deal. Do you have a preference? Because I don't care. I prefer this side if that's okay. okay. All right. Yay. I usually have to get up in the middle of the night and tip to the bathroom. I don't care. Bathroom. Oh, they left the music on for us too. Yay. All right. So guys, we're going to unpack and get the hell to bed, get a snack because we're starving. Um, like that. first. Um, so... Like this video if you enjoyed it. Um, go ahead and hit the notifications icon so you get more content. Because uh, there's going to be some crazy happening in the next few days. Um, like, subscribe, do all those good things. And uh, we'll see you next time. Oh, um, yeah, I don't have a tagline. Singing hey ho, a maiden's life, one, two, three. Hey ho, a maiden's life, won't you drink with me?